What's up everyone, this is CyberNight8610, and today I went to Walmart and I found these two packs. They are kind of interesting packs, I don't know what you would call them, but you get uh, five packs in each one, and they get five foil cards, so I thought I'd get two of them and uh, see what we get from them. I don't know, maybe it'll be good, maybe it won't. Let's see. I'm not sure what the packs are, I know, of course, the first pack of each one, but I think it's Battle Pack 1 in the back of these, so... Let's see, yep, I was right. You get a bunch of Battle Pack 1, which was a little bit of variety, but whatever. Best Rising... And then we have all these battle pack. And what's our promo? Oh, okay, so you're getting like the 10 promos on that. Uh, we'll go ahead and open it. Show you guys in case you forget the, the 10 promos. I was kind of hoping it would be a, like a variety of different stuff, but whatever. Alright, from this one we got the Excalibur pack, which has Excalibur, uh, Blizzard Princess, Wind Up Rabbit, Evasor Logia, and uh, Wind Up Zen Mains. So, I guess we'll go with this one first. Let's go with the battle pack. All these different battle packs. Wouldn't hurt to get Regeki or something from these. Gaga Magician. Ruler Hades. Then we have the uh, Machina Fortress. That's a good star rare to get. Star foil. This, well, I can't get this one open. There we go. Uh, battle packs are kind of a pain to open because they are smaller like that. Fabled Raven for the star foil. Utopia, gotta have that Utopia. There we go, that one was easier. Vortex Trooper, remember that as uh, a promo. They might possess Dark Soul, United We Stand. Not bad. Hard and Arm Dragon. I remember when a lot of people were after this card. Uh, Raiko Lightsworn Hunter. That's good to get. Gem Knight Pearl. Another one. Not bad. Battle Pack always has some alright cards. A lot of usable cards, so that's always good. Can't really complain about their commons and stuff, because most stuff's at least usable. And uh, pretty awesome. Let's see, and now for Best Rising, we have Spellbook of Eternity. And we got a Red Dragon Ninja. So we were able to get a holo from this one. That's what I was thinking. Hopefully if you can at least get a cool holo from each one. And uh, Red Dragon Ninja, it's cool looking, but unfortunately not one of the better ones. But, you know, I'm happy I got a holo from it. So, looks cool. Ninjas need more support in the future. So, by the way, just throwing that out there in the middle of this opening video. Let's see, there we go. I'm trying to open up the other one and struggling. There we go. So we have a Hidden Arsenal. So we're kind of, oh, okay. So we got random cards on that one. Hidden Arsenal. So we're guaranteed some holos. And uh, this one went in a 10 pack, so that's good. They're not always the same. Alright, we have Scarred Warrior. Let's see, kind of get them to you guys where you can kind of see. Blaze Phoenix, Great Poseidon Beetle, Photon Current, and a Beastly Mirror Ritual. Yeah, I guess some alright hollows. They're still hollows, right? <laughs> so I guess that will. It's alright. I was hoping maybe, you know, they would have like some legendary collection hollows in there and get Regekis like this. And that might be possible. I don't know. Would be pretty cool. Vortex Trooper on that again. Gym Knight Pearl, Creature Swap. I like those. Compulse. Compulse is very good. Like I said, Battle Packs can't really let you down. You always get some staple cards. Oh, there we go. Or you just can't open up the pack. <laughs> Might be able to. Hopefully, that means good things from this. We'll see. The Calculator, Inverse Universe, and we have a Skull Archfiend of Lightning. Always thought that at least looked cool. Newer version of Summon Skull, I guess. Mad Reloader. He's very upset. Twin Sword Marauder. Gotcha, gotcha, Gazetsu. Shield Crush was even in that. I remember using Shield Crush a lot in the video games. I guess it was Nightmare Troubadour. I guess it was in that. I'm trying to remember. Or maybe it was one of the GX ones. Mystical Space Typhoon, that's good to get, especially in that, and Starfoil, and then Burden of the Mighty. Fiendish Chain, there we go. Uh, so, got some pretty good cards from that. And then, uh, Hidden Arsenal 6. Well, that should be sort of easy to open. And, <laughs> Ibagishi Gus Kraken. There you go, Seeker Air. Remember whenever this got limited, unfortunately, because I was really wanting to use that uh, back then when it first came out. Gusto Squirrel. Infestation Tool, uh, Gishki Amelia, and Gishki Vision. 
So, there you go. That's the opening. Uh, not bad. They might not be worth it. I think it was around, what, $8 or something? Probably plus tax, so it might be closer to $9 or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but uh, these are kind of interesting. I thought it would at least be fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And I guess technically I got a hollow out of every pack, you know, because uh, I got Hidden Arsenal. And then if you want to count Starfoils as being hollows, and uh, we did get a hollow card out of our Abyss Rising, so that was pretty good. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And, of course, tell me what other stuff you want to see openings of, because there's a lot of different packs out there. Maybe sometimes Walmart and Target have, like, packs like this. This. And then, of course, just, you know, random packs that they have out there, like special editions and other stuff, too, that you want to see. As always, thank you for watching, and of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.